Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to another guide for Dark Souls Remastered, ladies and gentlemen. No webcam today. Uh, coding error. Uh, no webcam today. Let me know if you like the webcam or if you don't like the webcam. This is going to be Dark Sun Gwendolyn. In order to fight Dark Sun Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn, whatever their name is, uh, you need to destroy the fake image of the... Uh, the, the, the big chested chick that we did in, I believe, the, 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 we did on stream. Anyways, you'll come to a certain chick and she'll give you the Lord Vessel. You have to destroy the fake image. It's a, it's a mirage. It's an illusion. And then once you do that, you can, uh, rotate the spiral staircase down to the very bottom. Go to the very bottom and then fight this boss. And this boss has three attacks and that's it. Attack one is going to be a giant soul arrow. They're going to shoot a giant soul arrow, which will go through the walls, which you'll use as cover. So if it's that one, you got to roll it or block it. Um, attack number two, little arrow darts sort of things, which will instantly kill you if they deal enough damage. Looks like we got invaded, but that should be fine. Um, and then attack number three is going to be these little homing dudes. And we should see all of them. Let's go ahead and fight the boss. Here we go. Uh, in the meanwhile, all we're trying to do... Hello? Oh, okay. That's why. I was like, wait, what? All we're trying to do is run down this long-ass hallway to try and close the gap, basically. So this one is going to be the little homing dudes. So we're going to get behind the wall here. Oh, and they followed up with them. Yeah, so that, that goes through the uh, the walls here. Oh, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so all three right here from the beginning. Three little volleys of arrows or whatever you want to call that sort of thing. Uh, okay, so this is going to be the big soul arrow. We're just going to roll that. This is going to be a little homing dude, so we're going to get behind here. Uh, oh, we're going to get hit by that, but that's fine. Let's try to get a hit here. You can actually get a hit if... They're disappearing and teleporting backwards. Uh, when they get on their tentacles, they are going to do the little arrow thing. So keep that in mind. And then this is going to be the little uh, homing dudes. And then what else are they going to do? They're going to get up on their tentacles. So now is our chance to attack. And just keep attacking because you will be able to hit them while they're disappearing. Is uh, definitely a pro tip there. Uh, we're going to get behind here. We're going to stay behind here. Here comes the soul arrow, so we're going to roll it. Uh, we're going to get behind here. And get behind here. And get behind here. And here comes the soul arrow, so we're going to roll it. Trying to close that distance here. And we're going to roll it, because they're doing another soul arrow. And then we're just going to jump forward and bash. As you can see, you can still get some damage even when they're gone. Uh, they're, they do have a lingering hitbox for like a certain amount of time. Here comes the big soul arrow again. Uh, this is going to be a little dudes. We're going to get behind here. This is going to be the soul air. We're going to roll towards them. And when you're around this close, they will start to disappear. So keep that in mind. And yeah, as you can see here, we are dealing the damage. Okay. Uh, this one, you just want to make sure you take a very horizontal running position. Uh, because, like, if you get hit by one of these little darts, you are so screwed. It deals so much damage. Uh, so one more hit, and Dark Sun Gwendolyn is going to be dead. So let's see. So yeah, if they get on their uh, little hind uh, legs, their little tentacles, whatever the heck, they're going to do three volleys of arrows. If they do a big blue burst, they're going to do... hi yeah! Down goes Dark Sun Gwendolyn. Easy peasy. They're going to do a little, yeah, if they get on their, their tentacles, they're going to do a little three volley thing. If they do the uh, big bright blue burst, they're going to do the soul arrow, which you want to roll or, or uh, block. And then if they do the um, smaller blue burst, it's going to be the little homing guys, which uh, you want to use the, you know, the, um, the, uh, the, the wall, the, the columns to uh, avoid, basically. Uh, and then this little bonus will sh show you what you get. Uh, not hard at all once you know the little shtick. Uh, you know, I know I said that I, I shouldn't call anything not hard at all or whatever, but ultimately really not hard at all. Like, let's be real here. Uh, once you know the shtick. The only thing is this guy can, you know, 100 to 0 you with especially the darts or pretty much anything. Well, not the big soul arrow because it'll deal some of your HP. But like the darts and the, um, the little homing guys, they can 100% to 0 you, meaning you go from 100% health to 0% health. 
Uh, and it's really annoying. It's very, very, very frustrating. Uh, because, yeah, this boss is sort of a gimmick boss in general. But, hope that helped. Hope you found this helpful. If it did, check out the playlist. We've got every single boss Dark Souls Remastered covered. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.